We have the privilege to have the president and director of HUI here to open our meeting for us. So I'm going to introduce Mark Abbott. Okay. Th Thank you. Thanks, Heather. Boy, biogeochemists are really well behaved. You know, you, as soon as Heather stands up, you're quiet. Uh, that would not happen in physical oceanography or geological or whatever. But just again, I'm Mark Abbott. Want to welcome you all here. I, it's great to see a lot of old faces that have gotten older, like former graduate students like uh, Raleigh Hood. <laughs> but a lot of new people. I think that's really what's exciting about this program is over the roughly, geez, almost 40 years of sort of global ocean flux studies to watch the, the evolution of not only the people doing the science, but looking at the kinds of science that's being done. What started it is really a geochemistry program a long, long time ago, and then evolved into sort of carbon biogeochemistry, uh, adding in ecology and now looking at the talks that are going to be given this week on Arctic processes and processes in estuaries and on the shelf, uh, looking at maybe even uh, Ken Bissler's favorite area, the sort of the midwater, mesopelagic, finally, you know, with NASA exports uh, underway. But some things never change. You know, we're still waiting for the next generation ocean color satellite. So, you know, it was, it was sea whiffs back in the day and now it's pace. Uh, underway there, so it, it'll be really exciting to hear. I think that this is, uh, it's still probably what's, ch one of the other things that's really changed is the importance, the relevance of what we do, looking at how we're changing this ocean planet, looking at sort of the impacts of ocean acidification uh, and calcification, looking at uh, hypoxia regions and how that's interacting as well and even up into the sort of the higher trophic levels. So the scope of the work has expanded scientifically, but the relevance to how we manage this ocean planet is more intense than it was, or at least more aware than it was 40 years ago. So I want to thank Heather and, and May and everyone else for organizing what looks like to be a, a busy meeting. Uh, the weather should be nice. You'll get to enjoy it here in the dark, friendly confines of Redfield <laughs> Auditorium. But I think uh, Heather will make sure you get outside every once in a while. And again, thank you and welcome to Woods Hole Oceanographic. <laughs> 